World Health Organization donates medical equipment worth over $37 million is to the Ministry of Health. The World Health Organization country representative, Dr. Desta Trenu, officially handed a consignment donated medical equipment to the Ministry of Health earlier today at the Central Medical Store in Kotu. The content within this donation is an array of resources that spans from cutting-edge computers and PC tablets designed to transform the surveillance system data management to indispensable laboratory consumables and advanced equipment that will foster an environment of medical excellence. These equipments include two pediatric hemodialysis machines with portal reverse osmosis dialysis water treatment plant. 93 PC laptop computers with accessories, 78,000 bottles of paracetamol syrup, one laboratory equipment with consumables and radiants, two creatinine assay kits, 153 PC tablets, nine patient monitors, five ventilators, and five oxygen concentrators. Speaking at the event, Dr. Ahmadullah Min Samate, the Minister of Health, says the health sector cannot move forward without investment. The health sector certainly cannot move forward without investment in health infrastructure, without investment in equipment and medical items or the medical consumables, and certainly without investment in human capital, the skilled workforce. These are very, very important areas that we need to work on to ensure that the health sector provides optimal care for the people of this country. I'm sure you all know, but just as a way of reminding you, the government of His Excellency President Barrow has been very, very committed when it go, goes to all these three points I just mentioned. With regards to infrastructural development, inheriting dilapidated health infrastructure across the length and breadth of this country, His Excellency instructed that we revamp the health infrastructure, we build new health facilities across the length and breadth of this country to ensure that there is universal access to health services across the length of this country. Some of the further said that these medical items are needed for the health personnel to provide critical services while commending WHO for their support. Having health facilities alone is not enough if you don't have the equipment that the health workers need to provide these critical services. Now, that's why we are gathered here today. The Blecho being a fundamental partner of the Ministry of Health has been very, very supportive in the provision of life-saving equipment, very, very supporting, supportive in the prov provision of needed capacities by way of training. Over the period, the Blecho has trained so many Gambians at various levels and by way of providing consultants who come in country, stay with us. In fact, some of them are in our midst here to support our various teams in the provision of quality universal health services to the Gambian people. Dr. Desta, WHO country representative, said this event stands as a testament to their partnership and shared commitment to fostering health services for all Gambians. As we reflect upon this occasion, it's good to note that the World Health Organization stands firmly as your steadfast partner in advancing healthcare excellence. Together, we shall continue to navigate the intricacies of the healthcare landscape, working hand in hand to ensure that health remains universal right and the beacon of hope for every Gambian. In closing, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to each and every one of you, our distinguished guests, our esteemed donors, our dedicated partners, and the Minister of Health. It's our remarkable contribution and unrelenting effort that form the bedrock upon which 
our shared vision for a healthier population is built. Medical devices are considered a fundamental component of health systems. The benefits they can provide continue to increase as they are essential to prevent, diagnose. The World Health Organization is a specialized agency of the United Nations responsible for international public health. It is headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland, and has six regional offices and 150 offices worldwide. Reporting for N24 TV, I am Ravi Sinyan.